in the last chapter we have seen some of the terms related to crystallography then what is crystallography and some introductory parts related to it in today's lecture we will see what is unit cell and what are the types of unit cell we know that in order to build a crystal structure a basic unit is required it means that suppose i want to build a wall then in order to build that wall i will require bricks bricks then if i organize these bricks that is width in marathi we are calling it as width so in order to build a wall in marathi we are calling it as bint in order to build a wall we are in need of bricks if we organize these bricks one upon the other then whole wall will get built up the same is the thing in case of building of a crystal structure in order to build a crystal structure we will require a basic unit and that basic building block of a crystal structure is called as unit cell then how unit cell is formed in order to form a unit cell we will require three crystallographic axes these unit cell will have while drawing the two dimensional that is we have considered two axes while drawing three dimensional axis we have considered three axis and we have placed the points at regular interval of time and distance between two points along x axis is considered as a along y axis it is considered as b along z axis it is considered as c and by repeating a b c along x y z the whole lattice space will be built up the same is the thing in order to build up a unit cell we will require three edges three edges means nothing but the distance between two atoms of similar kind it is called as primitive or the edge of the unit cell and along x axis it is represented with a along y axis it is represented with b and along z axis it is represented with c it means that in order to draw a unit cell we will require three lengths and these are called as primitives like that we are in need of three angles and these angles are called as interfacial angles or interaxial angles interfacial angles means angle between two faces of unit cell interaxial angles means angle between two axes the concept is the same in this diagram a unit cell is shown its length is a b c as shown in figure and the angle between lengths b and c is represented as alpha angle between c and a is represented as beta and angle between b and a edges is represented with gamma so these three edges alpha beta gamma and the three angles three angles alpha beta gamma and three edges a b c represents the lattice parameter of unit cell it means that in order to build a single unit cell we are in need of six parameters these are three lengths and three angles and these parameters are called as lattice parameter so unit cell is represented with three non coplanar vectors of the axis x y and z and these are the parallel parts means opposite faces are parallel to each other and there are six lattice parameters for a unit cell then let's see the next point that is types of unit cell unit cell is a basic building block of any crystal structure <clears throat> and there are two basic types of unit cells first one is primitive unit cell and another one is non primitive unit cell 
Then which unit cell is called as primitive unit cell? We know that if we see the unit cell structure, then in this structure, what is shown here? It is shown that there are three axes x, y, z, three angles alpha, beta, gamma and three edges A, B and C and a unit cell represents a box or a brick. So it has eight corners, twelve edges and six faces. It is clear from this figure or you um, take one box and observe it and you will find that there are eight corners 12 edges and 6 faces and this box is nothing but a unit cell and here at each corner one atom is present it means that there are 8 corner atoms present in a unit cell so what is not primitive unit cell a primitive unit cell is a unit cell which has atoms only at the corners of unit cell. It means that it will have only 8 corner atoms. No additional atom is present in it. And it is represented with the letter capital P. Then what are non-primitive unit cells? Non-primitive unit cells are the primitive unit cells. It means that just now we have seen that if I want to draw a unit cell, then at least I require 8 corner atoms. Unless and until I have such type of arrangement, I cannot draw. It is not possible to draw a unit cell or have a unit cell. Therefore, basic necessity is to have a corner atoms. So, every non-primitive unit cell is also a primitive unit cell. But every primitive unit cell will not be a non-primitive unit cell. Because in case of non-primitive unit cell, there are 8 corner atoms. <coughs> but in addition to these 8 corner atoms, there are extra atoms which are situated in the interior of unit cell. Therefore, number of atoms per unit cell will not be 1. It is more than 1. And such type of unit cells are called as non-primitive unit cells. In the diagram shown here, it is shown a unit cell which is primitive one and the unit cells, two unit cells which are non-primitive ones because there are in diagram B, C, D, A or A, B, C, D only corner atoms are there and the lengths are A1 and B1 and in case of L, M and K there is one additional atom at the center therefore first one is primitive and second one is non-primitive unit cell then non-primitive unit cells are again classified into body centered unit cell base centered unit cell and face centered unit cell then non-primitive unit cell which one will be the body centered unit cell? A non-primitive unit cell which has 8 corner atoms and one extra atom which is located at the center of body are called as body centered unit cells and it is represented with letter capital I. Then base centered unit cells. Base centered unit cell is a non-primitive unit cell which has 8 corner atoms and there are 2 extra atoms which are located at the center of each base. Therefore, there are 8 corner atoms and 2 extra atoms in it. So, it is not a primitive unit cell. The non-primitive unit cell type 3 that is face centered unit cell. In this, there are 8 corner atoms and 6 extra atoms which are located at the center of each face. So, in the diagram, it is clear that there are 8 corner atoms and at the center of each face, if you consider a classroom, then it has 6 faces. At the center of each face, there will be an extra atom. 
therefore such type of arrangement of unit cell is called as self centered unit cell so today we have seen what is unit cell unit cell is a basic building block of any physical structure and it is represented by three lengths and three interfacial angles and these three lengths a b c and alpha beta gamma three angles are called as lattice parameters then there are two types of unit cells these are primitive unit cell denoted with capital p and non primitive unit cells primitive unit cell will have atoms only at the corners of unit cell non primitive unit cells will have atoms at corners as well as in the interior of unit cell based on the position of atoms extra atom in a non primitive unit cell non primitive unit cells are again classified into body centered unit cell i base centered unit cell denoted with capital c and self centered unit cell denoted with capital f a body centered unit cell is a non primitive unit cell it consists of eight corner atoms an extra atom located at the center of body as shown in figure then base centered unit cell will have eight corner atoms and two extra atoms in the interior of body as shown in figure the base centered unit cell will have eight corner atoms and six extra atoms which are located at the center of each space as shown in figure therefore today we have seen the concepts related to unit cell hope you have understood today's lecture thank you